What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. <coughs> Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing a type of love reading for all the signs. I'm on the sign of Capricorn. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, check out the about section of the channel and the description box below for more information on how to do that. Anyways, let's get into the sign of Capricorn. Looks like we're trying to make a decision about something. Um, I think that you're ready to talk about something or maybe there's going to be some type of new offer, opportunity. Um, I do feel like some of you guys need to open up about something and have a conversation, but I don't think that you want to. <laughs> you have the Sun card. You have the Tower and you have the Six of Cups. Some of you guys um, just want to be happy. You want to be in a good place um, mentally, physically, emotionally. I would say also that your solar plexus might need some healing or some work, but I do feel like it's getting better. Um, there could be more um, self-confidence and awareness coming from this. Also, I would encourage eating yellow food, wearing the color yellow, just embracing yellow and sunshine and happiness because the sun does wonders, especially when you are trying to get like mental clarity about something. You have the temperance card. Then you have judgment. And then you have death. And that is five out of six cards that are a major arcana. This is a big decision for you. This is a big step. This is a big um, ascension. This is something that is really, it's a big deal for your life. It's a big deal for anything moving forward. Um, I think that some old ways, um, old habits or old situations will be removed from your life. And... Um, Along with that, I feel like a lot of those old memories that you've rep repressed or that keep coming and triggering you also need to be released. Because <clears throat> this is about you becoming balanced within yourself in a situation. Um, this is about you making a decision about someone from your past as well. This is about letting things die and be reborn in a better way. Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Some of you guys, um, Six of Wands, okay. If you've been worried about whether or not you will be getting this promotion, I feel like you will. If you've been worried about financial issues, there's not a need to do that. You will be getting the recognition. You'll be getting the offer. You'll be kind of rising above the competition when it comes to this. And it's going to be unexpected, and it's going to make you really happy um, in the coming months ahead. But I also feel like a part of you, now that you're doing all of this work and stuff, there's someone from your past possibly that has also done some work and they want to come in and offer you some things because they've taken the time to heal. As, as I think that you have as well. You're going through a rite of passage in your life. Some of you guys may be moved or you will be moving or this is about you trying to make a decision on what you want to do with that. But with the Page of Swords... Um, this is something that you've kind of been doing research on. This is something that you know a lot about. Um, maybe this is a, some type of realization that you've had in your life um, in a current situation where you're ready to go in a new direction. But maybe there's someone that you're dealing with that either could be dealing with another person or there's just um, four of pentacles. It's like they're holding on to you or maybe not opening up to you. Maybe there's been some fights recently, but at the same time, it's like you guys are both kind of either holding on to old issues or um, a part of you doesn't really want to let this go. Um, a part of you feels like this person is meant to be in your life, but you know and understand now that there needs to be some pretty deep healing um, in this situation. I feel like you're being guided or this person's being guided to someone in their life where it's kind of what they've been looking for or maybe you're going to have this opportunity brought into your life 
but it's all about new beginnings and, and for that that means letting go of old um, things that could have you know maybe been holding you back as well because maybe the person that's meant for you um, will be coming into your life now that you're in this independent energy where you don't really need anybody else maybe after you do some healing maybe some things where you know you've made this decision to better yourself and then these new opportunities come in I just want you to be happy I wear my heart on my sleeve I can make it all better I had a dream about you I didn't mean what I said I'm better for you you deserve better than me um, I still need you you taught me patience all that I needed I found in you and I didn't want to bring you into my drama and you get in your feelings so who's the villain um, I respect you too much to not be 100 with you some of you guys okay I see this going one of two ways let's just say there was some type of fight where you guys fell out and it had a lot to do with someone's emotions in that moment some people lash out um, when they're emotional and say things they don't mean um, I think genuinely this person wants the best for you Capricorn but they know that whatever they're involved in right now or whatever situation that this is isn't really right for you now you do they feel like you deserve to be happy um, you deserve to um, someone that's better than them I think because a part of them is kind of codependent on your energy they want to make this better to you for you in the situation um, they want you to know that they're a better person because of you, um, that they've kind of been waiting for you, that they've been seeing you in their dreams. Um, and I feel like this person just wants to be there for you, but maybe not in the way that you think. I think that maybe on both sides of the fence there needs to be some type of um, admittance or omittance or something along those lines where you kind of agree to disagree sometimes because maybe it doesn't look like it but this person is coming from the right place maybe they can't be the person that you need them to be but they still want to be there for you in your life um you guys this song is literally the sad face and it's by bahari b-a-h-a-r-i and um, I feel like this is like a situation where maybe you guys are involved with someone, um, but then there's some other kind of opportunity that's going to be brought to your attention or brought back into your life. And it's almost like you're kind of torn in two directions or this person feels like they're torn in two directions because you guys are already kind of established, but maybe they're realizing that this isn't something that you know you guys may be not be on the same page but then for others of you there's someone who wants to come back in and heal the situation and, and be the, in in your life and and make things up to you maybe that went wrong in the past so I just feel like there's a couple different things here but the main thing is that someone doesn't want you to leave them behind someone genuinely has emotions for you but maybe they needed to leave to heal themselves or you needed to do that or maybe it's time to open up about you know what decision or maybe it's time to make this decision for your life independently um, because really you're the only one that knows what's best for you regardless of what other people say sometimes or vice versa I just feel like maybe someone wants to apologize or or make things right but at the same time they don't want to hurt you or make it seem like they are something that they're not when maybe they can't give you what you need because they are kind of uh, wanting to be with someone else or something to that effect or maybe this is you maybe your heart's in a different place you know you never know you have expressed your joy get back into that lighthearted energy watch things that make you laugh you know 
do something stupid like you know um, nurture your inner child it says go with the flow I feel like at the very least this is a really good friendship in your life that maybe you guys are at odds or you fell out or something along that lines it says imagine solutions and the bottom is counter blessings so I'm going to read these to you. I know you're excited. Express your joys where. Your gentle spirit is radiating light and love to the world as you embrace the true meaning of who you are, a divine child of the universe. You're recuperating from the negative and unconscious energies of the five sensory world and accepting your divine birthright. It's igniting the fire of passion in your soul and placing joy in your heart. Your divine energy is calling you to allow the divine inner child in you to take over and lead your life. Recapture the spirit of curiosity and play and let your spontan... Spon Why can't I say this word? spontaneous self guide you your divine invitation is to see the world with fresh eyes discover what's beautiful entertaining delightful and fun and then go after it without restraint you're being appointed to serve as a role model for the new millennium by demonstrating that suffering and self-denial are not morally superior choices let the world feel your joy for it's contagious and it lifts all who and it lifts all whom you touch Okay, go with the flow. 73. Has your life gotten a little unpredictable lately? Has it taken a turn for the better or for the worse? Just when you think you have all your ducks in a row, has something upset the status quo and sent things flying in new and unexpected directions? Don't let the unexpected disturb your equilibrium. Your soul is learning to go with life's flow and rhythm, and an integral part of that movement is realizing that life unfolds in cycles, sometimes up and sometimes down. Your divine energy is calling you to recognize, respect, and embrace everything in the flow of life. Accept that you don't have influence over outer events, but you do have control over how you respond to these events. The more detached you are, the more peaceful your soul will remain no matter what unfolds. Your divine invitation is redefine your ideas of security. Respect that there are forces beyond your control, such as social issues, social intentions, and timing that are a part of life cycles. Recognize that on a soul level, all experiences are part of your divine journey and bear gifts for your soul. True security occurs when you stop wanting things to be a certain way and accept the way things are. Mm. That might be hard for the cap. To not want to change it and flip it and reverse it. Imagine solutions. I mean, because you do usually get what you want, right? No. 30. I mean, I feel like as once you give up control, then everything's coming in for you. So it's like stop fighting with the inevitable, basically. You may feel overwhelmed by problems for which there doesn't appear to be any immediate solution. You may even feel trapped by unpleasant circumstances over which you have no control. Well, this is not the case. Your divine energy is calling you to look more deeply within to find creative solutions to your dilemma. You are never stuck, nor are you required to agree to anything that doesn't serve your highest good ever. Workable solutions will appear when you believe they exist. See your present condition through the eyes of your higher self. Your divine invitation. Use your creative imagination to guide you out of present challenges and onto higher ground. Begin by naming your obstacles honestly and accurately. Next, imagine as many solutions to the problem you face as possible. Write them down so that you can see them on paper. Call upon your divine energy to inspire you as you write. Things will change for the better the moment you use your power of imagination to solve problems. I mean, I think they're basically encouraging you to make a list, Kath. I don't know. Hope this helps you out. Have a good night.